recent video we had discussed about uh, learning styles importance and their meaning with multiple examples here we should know let's know about learning strategies learning strategies are also ways of learning way of learning that child intends to use but this is specific way in learning styles children use a particular way to learn in that is general approach but learning strategies are those that a particular child uses specific method specific way for learning that specific way is nothing but learning strategy that is for example everyone learn in different ways for example uh, learning strategies include cognitive learners metacognitive learners and uh, spaced practice it also comes under learning strategies and retrieval practice and uh, uh, elaboration interleaving so learning strategy is nothing but specific way that the child uses to learn in learning style there also the child uses a way to uh, learn but that is general way for example some learners are auditory auditory learners that is the way that the child is going to learn some students learn through visual so that is learning style but learning strategy is the specific way specific is nothing but they learn they may learn through multiple practice they may learn through repeating they may learn through memorization they may learn through reflection so these are the specific ways that the child applies that is called learning strategy so it includes spatial repetition number one learning strategy is spatial repetition or spatial practice Ret one next one is retrieval practice interleaving elaboration uh, concrete examples dwell coding uh, cognitive learning strategy metacognitive learning strategy compensatory learning strategy affective learning strategy in this way there are many learning strategies are there let's know about few of them first number one learning strategy is spatial practice or we may say spatial repetition here the child learn uh, by having intervals that is if i study a particular topic now for an hour after that 15 minutes i will take rest and thereafter i study that is spatial repetition spatial practice here i give some time break i give here i don't study regular uh, continuously as we study uh, when exam is very near in this uh, spatial practice or spatial repetition the child learns in regular intervals and uh, the the topics which are easy he learn only one time and uh, he leave those easier topics and he learn difficult topics more and more in number for example some english words are very easy we study one time or two time and some words are very difficult to remember we uh, we see them again and again again and again at regular intervals so that that uh, difficult word we can remember for a longer time so all these kinds comes under spatial repetition so this is this spatial practice is also a kind of learning strategy and uh, elaboration that is we uh, some students learn through elaboration that is through addition through explaining uh, by getting more information related to a particular topic so they always wants to learn through elaboration by elaborating by adding more information so this elaboration is also learning strategy and concrete examples this is also learning strategy that is some learners always like to learn through many examples they always wish to take many examples while learning so they learn with the help of examples with the help of concrete examples that is concrete is nothing but what we see those examples they use while learning so this is also one strategy and uh, interleaving so interleaving is nothing but some students always want to learn in mix that is 
वन अवर आई स्टडी कन्डा एंड आफ्टर नेक्स्ट वन अवर आई स्टडी इंग्लिश नेक्स्ट वन अवर आई स्टडी मैथमेटिक्स सो सम स्टूडेंट्स लर्न लाइक दिस बाय मिक्सिंग दैट इज कॉल्ड इंटर लिविंग एंड दिस इज द अपोजिट ऑफ ब्लॉक्ड प्रैक्टिस इन ब्लॉक्ड प्रैक्टिस दैट लर्निंग स्ट्रैटेजी द चाइल्ड ऑलवेज लर्न अ पर्टिकुलर सब्जेक्ट फॉर अ लॉन्ग टाइम ही डोंट मिक्स अदर सब्जेक्ट्स इन बेटवेन सो दैट इज ब्लॉक्ड प्रैक्टिस लर्निंग स्ट्रैटेजी एंड uh one more uh, learning strategy that is uh, dwell coding dwell coding is nothing but we learn by combining pictures and words we know that in 1 uh, to 4th english book we see that the uh, stories are there where um, for example there is a home so i live in home the, that home home there is no word there is a picture i live in picture so that picture looking only the child has to say that home i like i like to live in there is a picture home picture so that so picture and words combination through that that type of text that type of learning comes under dwell coding so in this way there are many learning strategies are there we have to keep in mind and the difference between learning style and learning strategy is that learning styles are general approaches and uh, learning learning styles are general approaches and learning strategies are specific approaches so we have we shouldn't confuse about the these two terms thank you one and all